Chelsea today and we just stumbled across this like little cafe which looked so so cute and we've never oh blimey the sun is coming out we can't see the thing <laughs> let's turn around yeah <laughs> um and it was so cute their food was so lovely and like the decor inside was just yeah great a cute little hidden spot that we found which um it was like fresh um salads like you had salmon broccoli yeah. Um, and then they had some things to take away as well, and loads of cakes. So and loads of vegan food for you as well, which was quite nice. But uh, it wasn't catered for vegans, it was just that the food was, was just like natural. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I got complimented on my eyebrows. Lady asked, Where are done my eyebrows? So that was fun. But yeah, we're going to continue walking around. I'm going to find a coffee shop. Um, yeah. And then we'll, I think we're going to a. Um, design a second hand shop aren't we I think so yeah we'll have a little wander around in the sunshine now it's come out but we'll see that Sometimes we are just lucky at finding things. Space and Kay have done a pop up and free coffee and a free little gift. So we're just up to Space and Kay now to grab the gift, but um, it's actually really busy and everyone's looking at us, so we'll catch up when we've got our, our free gift. But look what I found the Primark pajamas that I was looking for ignore the random tan line it is still there for my holiday but no very happy bunny it's Sunday so I'm gonna chill out in my new pajamas and Lily's here but she's got a towel on her head so are you gonna join us Hi. <laughs> <laughs> this is Sunday so it's Saturday so Lily just Whoops. busted me <laughs> I did film this video on Sunday last week and I watched it back after just watching the making the video and I looked really fat so I had to refilm it <laughs> and Lily just walked in on me doing it and that's why she's like no it's not it's Saturday yeah because we were a week late <laughs> so <laughs> thank you, you. Always rely on me to be yeah the poor. truth person so yeah well it is Saturday but this is actually next week's vlog so this will be in the last one but we are in the future now so we're not actually doing anything today we're not I'm no i'm still ill um just had a hot shower yeah and i don't fancy going out although it's sunny out so i think i'm gonna go for a walk but I'm gonna go for a walk in a bit. but that'll be it i had a nice lie and didn't wake up till 10 so that's I not like me yeah not like me at all so clearly we needed that sleep but thanks for coming to be the um bearer of truth in my video but they deserve the truth what can i say <laughs> I'm not who I am. Right, well, we'll see you all next week in the next week's vlog. Bye, guys. Good morning, guys. It is 8.53. From a very tired Lily. I've been awake since 7. Trying to get Harry Styles tickets. So what we were saying the other day is... Harry Styles is doing a one night only in London in Brixton Academy and we live 
probably like 10 minutes maximum walk away from the O2 Academy. So we thought we'd get tickets. Um, there was an American Express pre-sale at 8 o'clock. And our flatmate, Rob, has an American Express card. So we tried that. They sold out. We're now, I've got O2, so we're trying O2 priority, that starts at 10. Sophie's on the artist pre-sale list, um, she's got a code, so we're going to try that too. Um, if I'm honest, I don't think we're going to get them, but I'm really hoping we will. Um, yeah, I'll keep you updated. So I'd update you. It's now 10.27 and we didn't get tickets. I was like 50 something thousand in the queue. Somehow mum managed to um, get in super quick and she was like 800 something in the queue. Um, but they're already sold out. So we love that. Um, we have one more chance tomorrow in the general sale but I don't think we'll get them. Um, I was in the queue for the O2 tickets and the app crashed and I couldn't get in. Um, but yeah, no Harry Star tickets for us. We might be able to hear him out the window. <laughs> Although it's pouring down with rain, Nicole had a scarf on her head and had a little panic. She was like, I can't be in the video with a scarf <laughs> on my head. So scarf might, It might have to go back up to be fair. <laughs> it's pouring down and we're just on our way to get a coffee from Milan. But yeah, it was a great event actually. It was really fun. Yeah, it was really good. Oh, look, there we go. Out. I'll do it. We'll see you soon. <laughs> So the rain has finally stopped. It's been hideous all day and I've worn white. Don't really know why I thought that was a good idea, but yeah, white has been my outfit choice today. Uh, we're just waiting for Lily now. So this afternoon, as I was trying to explain when it started raining, um, I went to the Trini pop-up, which is around for two days, I think. Um, so TikTok will show you that. Um, now we are on our, so I'm just looking to see where Lily is, apparently she's coming. Um, now we're on our way to a event with Dazed. So the, the announcement I made last week of them is coming true, that they are, they are following through with all the events, which is quite nice. Um, I think it's a catwalk today. Um, so we'll, we'll show you around, just waiting for Lily to arrive. I think we're gonna go get food first. So Lily's had a nightmare journey. So I think we'll grab something to eat and then head over to the pop-up. But the Trini event was fun today. It was all about their skincare range and it was like an interactive walkthrough. She was there, um, which was quite nice, but I didn't stick around for too long because I was on my lunch break, which is how I usually get these things done. So um, we're now finished work, just waiting for Lily. So I will take you along to the next event. We'll uh, speak to you on our way out. Say hi, we found her. Future and you will get out.
the first shoot, so me and I actually sent our digital avatars to be a part of the shoot, which you can actually see over there, somewhere. But yeah, no, it's cute and lovely and gorgeous. I think the most inspiring thing was when they were doing like a word play as to what it could be, and sexy wet lettuce is the word. What is the inspiration behind these pieces? I mean, Tace was like, I want something alien, I want something future, I want something crazy, I want the lettuce. up a little bit i've washed my hair and taken off last night's makeup because we did get home pretty late last night we had a really good time it was quite fun so um day sent out an email asking if anyone wanted to go to the vip launch night um, which i replied to and we got some tickets so it was really lovely um i think it was quite nice because obviously it was fashion related and there was an element of digital fashion um that Obviously, Lily got to see kind of how someone else had done it and how she would do it. Um, so it was quite fun. Lots of food. So, so much food, actually. So much food, so much drink. Um, so, yeah, we had fun. One thing that they had in there, which was quite fun, um, was a cocktail machine. But you could put um, a picture on it so you could have your face put on a porn star martini, which was really fun. But no, we uh, watched the catwalk. Well, I mean, there was a dance off at some point, but we watched the catwalk. I became a photographer's assistant, uh, which was quite interesting. Um, so we done that. Uh, we was actually sat right next to the reserve seating. So we saw a few of the kind of famous faces. I think you'll recognise Kimberly from Pussycat Dolls. So yes, I did have a little fan girl moment of like, I could be part of the Pussycat Dolls now. Um, so yeah, if they ever looking for an additional member, I I can be there. And there was also another person there, and I, so I have the worst like memory when it comes to faces. Like I recognise a face, like I've seen that person before, but I couldn't tell you who it was. And um, I mean, I didn't even spot spot Kimberly. I was like, Lily, who's that? I was like, I recognise her face, but I don't know who it is. She was like, It's Kimberly from the Pussycat Dolls. I was like, Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. Um, but there was another guy next to her husband i still haven't figured it out like i spent all last night looking on social media obviously everyone's posting their stories from last night um still haven't found out who it was i i want to say it's some sort of like rapper but i don't know so if i find out i'll let you know but i'm still still searching so that was quite fun we had a good evening had quite an eventful day yesterday um obviously had the trini event with one of the girls from work um that was good done that in my lunch break and then went back to work and then obviously had the event in the evening um i'm just getting ready to go to the next pop-up which is 180 the strand lily's been at uni today she had a presentation so um she done that said it all went quite well so that's good news but i'm gonna meet her up there i think we've got to be there at 5 45 so i'm gonna finish off work at five um and then get myself over there afterwards we're going to oh, i don't know how the fendi and versace collaboration now there's there's questions around how it's pronounced so i'm not even going to try um but they have opened a pop-up in harrods today so after we've been to 180 strand we're going to go over to harrods on our way home have a look at the pop-up and the collaboration which i'm quite excited for um and yeah that's probably going to be the end of our vlog we'll give you a little update on kind of um how it was but i have no plans for friday and i'm absolutely gonna stick that way i think because i am tired um haven't even done that much really but I'm tired so no i just thought i would um kind of catch you up and we'll start getting ready and head over to 180 the strand in a few hours we'll see you
Look my ears. She's I ill. My eye. Yeah, I don't <laughs> I've got flu. I've always been attached to some negative. She's flu. Well, we just went to 180 the Strand and it was really good. Did you like it? No, it was good. And it was, there was like a lot of rooms. Yeah, yeah. We, we actually got, spent a lot of time in there, didn't we? I think we said we got discounted tickets. But, yeah. Um, like I'm chuffed that we paid five pounds for it, but also I probably wouldn't. Like I probably still would have paid the twenty or thirty or whatever it yeah, was like to it pay. Wasn't like phenomenal, like the best I've ever seen. But there was a like, lot to yeah, do. There was a lot compared to some other places. Then we've just come down to Harrods for the Fendi pop up. But also I've been at Uniwear. That's why I look like this. But it's press night, so it's shut. Did see a really cute Fendi Versace water bottle though, but. So I was just saying actually earlier that there's a big a there's a kerfuffle over how to pronounce it. No, and I you know refused. Why? You know why? Because there was an ad and it had Gigi Hadid in there, and the whole ad was it's Versace, not Versace. Like that ad making a big deal, and then she wore Versace to um, Met Gala, and someone said to her, "Oh, what are you wearing to it's Versace?" And everyone was like, "Oh." So that is the debate that I was saying earlier is happening on TikTok, which is why I wouldn't pronounce it. But thank you for. I didn't even have to dig that one out for you. You kind of just announced it, so that was quite fun. So yeah, we didn't get to go in. It's done a bit of a video of the window, but that's not exciting. We're just about you to go back tomorrow. Yeah, we're trying to decide because I might. I was either going to sign the vlog off here, or come back tomorrow, just finish it off, and then start a new week. But see how we feel tomorrow because we're both tired. Lily's now sick stay away from me um so yeah we'll see more on our way home now to make dinner so we will speak to you later because we're about to go on a busy road and that's a bit weird so see you later